Are you ready? Hi, welcome back to Do Science with Dom. And today we're going to learn about chemical reactions. Supplies you'll need for today's experiment is baking soda, cornstarch, vinegar, a zip sealed sandwich bag, food coloring, black marker, and paper towels. Now that we're all set, let's begin. Start by drawing a jack-o'-lantern, a ghost, or any creepy character you could think of on your Ziploc bag. I'm going to do Frankenstein on mine. Once the marker is on the bag and dry, you will want to fill it about a third the way with vinegar. After you have your vinegar inside the bag, now you can add two to three teaspoons of cornstarch. After you added your cornstarch, then choose your food coloring of choice and add it inside the bag. I am going to use green for my Frankenstein. Zip the bag up, give it a shake so that it's all mixed together. You can set that to the side and then grab your paper towel and two to three tablespoons of baking soda. Just place it inside of your paper towel and just make a ball. Once you make the ball, make sure that it won't leak any baking soda inside the bag before you want it to. Place it inside the bag without touching the bottom of the bag like so, so that it's still dry and you can zip it up. Once your bag is secure, you could drop the ball of paper towel and baking soda inside, grab it, give it a good mix, and then you'll want to sit down Watch chemical reaction. So you can have a bigger explosion just by adding more vinegar or baking soda just depending on how big or small your bag is or how big or small you want the explosion. Let me explain to you how this works. When baking soda and vinegar are mixed it results in a chemical reaction that produces carbon dioxide along with water and sodium acetate. If the bag is properly sealed the carbon dioxide is trapped and filled into the bag until it cannot hold anymore and it pops. When you try this at home, you might notice that the baking soda does not completely dissolve in the paper towel, which will result in you being, being able to pop your bag several times. How many times can you get your bag to pop? Thank you so much for joining me today. Before you go, I would like to tell you about a book titled Crime Scene Side Spur Projects. You can go to slpl.org or visit a library near you. It's been fun doing science experiments with you. Hope to see you guys soon to do more science with Don.